Ask Reddit by stupid ginger girl. Why did that one kid get expelled? He kicked my friend in the ass so hard it broke his tailbone. He literally broke my friend's ass. I friend of a friend broke his finger after sticking it on another dude's ass. Not related, but wanted to say it anyways. Running through the cafeteria at lunch naked with a backpack on that he set on fire. Legendary. The final straw was when he lit a cigarette in French class and refused to put it out. Smoked it all. He was 13. I see him every now and again and he's a mess. Just method acting to know French better. He sprayed another student with Zippo fluid and was attempting to set the student on fire when he was tackled. I had a friend at my private school who basically got asked to take a year off. Spent that year at a private military school, shaping up. Told us later that one thing that helped him do that was learning that what he had done to get there was nothing compared to what some of his classmates did. One kid had, at a boarding school, locked another kid in his dorm room with tons of paper, then lit the paper on fire as a joke. Planned a food fight that turned into a riot with property damage and then fled from the police. At a high school near me, 20 years ago, the senior class decided to have a food fight at lunch on the last day of classes one year. Turned into a riot with the school locked down for the whole afternoon, kids frantic on cell phones even then, with their parents because they had no clue why this was happening, and the state police and about 20 other local law enforcement agencies deployed to the school. The school expelled 12 of the graduating seniors, very difficult to do for a public school, but not impossible, and barred about the same amount of others from taking part in graduation. Kindergarten a long list of threatening behaviors, foster kid with every kind of past abuse, told me he was going to shoot himself and then come shoot me. I refrained from pointing out his laps and logistics. That situation is awful for everyone. Anyone who abuses kids should be locked away forever. Russian exchange student in high school. Chased a squirrel, caught it, it bit him, so he swung it by the tail against a tree. He was expelled for having a detailed map of the school with locations where he wanted to place bombs and a list of students he wanted to kill and how he was going to do it. Well, that escalated quickly. For lifting up his shorts and exposing his balls through the leg hole to the principal while said principal was escorting potential investors for the school. Okay that's so funny but understandable why he was expelled. He kept getting caught having sex in the gymnastic room. They literally had cameras in the room and he kept bringing girls there between classes. Got caught like 5 times before he got expelled. If I were a girl at that school, I would simply not have sex with a guy who had already been caught and filmed 4 times, in the exact same place he had been caught before. Playing kickball and gym class kid kicked his shoe off and his bag of weed came flying out right to the teacher's feet. I was in the theater department back in high school. One day at the beginning of our acting class the teacher came in and told us all to sit down. This one kid sat in the middle of the front row and as he took his seat, his glass weed pipe fell out of his pocket and clattered to the floor. Everyone is silent for a moment. Then the teacher just goes, alright. I'm gonna go out in the hallway for 30 seconds, then I'm gonna come back in and we'll try this again. Walked out, walked back in 30 seconds later like he said, saw that the pipe was no longer in evidence, and class proceeded like normal. Or as close to normal as theater classes ever get. Walked out of English class to talk to another kid in the hall. The teacher was real lax so she didn't care he walked out to talk to this guy. Fight breaks out in the hall. Teacher runs out, other teachers come help break up the fight. One teacher asks the kid that walked out class why they were fighting and he said he stole my weed. Kid who left class was selling and the kid in the hall tried to walk off without paying. Any other BS excuse would have just got him suspended. Deleted. Happened in kindergarten. There was a kid named Dexter who had severe anger issues. 
Every day a small group of kids would get certain jobs to do around the classroom, such as line leader, table cleaner, etc. Dexter got the table cleaner position and he was absolutely livid since he wanted to be line leader. What started off as a screaming fit escalated into him throwing scissors around the class, biting the teacher's hand, shattering a window with his flying scissors, breaking the tank that housed the class gerbils, and just trashing the entire classroom. The rest of the students had to evacuate the class while the teacher and principal attempted to restrain him. Security had to get involved. Never saw him again after that day. Bro that's my name and I was a little brat in kindergarten lol. At least that story wasn't about me, because we didn't have gerbils at my school. I read the first two sentences and thought oh shit. He stabbed another kid with a letter opener he made in shop class. We didn't make letter openers in shop class after that. Edit this was in junior high in the mid 90s. Y'all reminded me of the time a different kid got expelled for writing fanfic about kidnapping and torturing the cheerleading team. Was stabbed with a sharpened pencil stick still not quite sure to this day once by a fellow student. Right in my side. All he got was 3 months suspension. Thought he was funny and decided to grab the SRO, student resource officers, gun. Our SRO also happened to be part of SWAT. He did this as we all left end of day, crowded hall. I remember this vividly over 20 years later. This was also post Columbine by like a month. Kid got slammed into a wall put in cuffs. Arrested and expelled immediately. How he thought that was funny is beyond me. Downloading porn on the school computers was the last straw, he even used his own login. Edit, that was more attention than I expected. Thank you everyone who wished me a happy cake day, who knew I'd spend it talking about porn? Couldn't have waited till he got home huh? He made a bomb threat online. Most of the school skipped out the day he did because they didn't want to blow up. I was one of the poor souls with no social media so I came into school, not knowing there was a freaking bomb threat. I also had a mom who was unfazed and just told me, you'll be fine. Go to class, when I called her. I didn't learn until the next day that he had been apprehended and expelled. What scared me was I knew him for years and he never seemed like the kind of person to go that far. He was a class clown, but I never thought he would take that as even a joke. Apparently he did have a bomb, but it thankfully never made it to the school grounds. Edit. Spelling. Also, wow. I didn't imagine this would blow up like this. Thank you for the likes. However, I would like to say that while my mom made a mistake, that doesn't make her a bad parent. We have a really good relationship and I love her. She regrets the fact that she left me scared with little to no information, but she knew I would be fine. It was me who didn't know at the time. I cannot even imagine telling my kid to not worry about a fucking bomb threat and to just stroll right on into the building what the heck. Guy grew up doing Muay Thai, boxing and wrestling. Forgot where he was during a wrestling match and threw a spinning back fist that knocked his opponent clean out. He was completely mortified once he realized what he did. Straight A student. Star athlete, and genuinely good guy. The class president even addressed it and organized protests and walkouts until he was reinstated. Even the guy that got knocked out and his parents forgave him and supported us. He did get reinstated but wasn't allowed to wrestle or box anymore. Not sure what the coaches pulled to allow him to play football. He eventually quit football to his senior year and was never really the same. Fuhuak man that's actually tragic. Peeing on a teacher who wouldn't let him go to the bathroom. A girl changed her tampon in the corner of the classroom to prove a point. She was suspended pending expulsion but her dad was a lawyer. A week later any girl who wanted to use the bathroom was allowed no questions asked. Fast forward two months and guys were getting pissed that we couldn't use bathrooms either. So one guy got denied a bathroom three times in the 90 minute class. He walked up and peed in the trash can. He was expelled. I guess he missed the part where you need lawyer parents. 
tackled and restrained by coaches after he grabbed a bat from the storage room with the intention of beating his pregnant math teacher with it. Holy shit this post is filled with insane kids. Flopped his dick on another dude's shoulder in his room at study hall. Boarding school is weird. That was a thing at my school if you got a dick placed on your shoulder you were gay until you put your dick on someone else's shoulder. Put a picture of his penis in the yearbook that led to an investigation that ultimately landed him and three budders in jail. Did it actually go to print and distribution before they caught it? Something similar happened at one of our local high schools. This wasn't at my school and I never got the full details from my teacher, but from what I remember think one of the seniors flashed his bits in one of the athletic team photos. While I get that it's something that needs to be taken seriously, it's also kind of funny considering how poor quality yearbook photos were 30 plus years ago. I don't remember how they resolved it, but I remember it was a major fiasco. He brought a gun to school and posted it on Snapchat instantly got caught and expelled stupidest thing anyone has ever done but also a blessing in disguise. A few years ago, a kid at the high school I graduated from posted a snapchat video of putting a gun in his backpack with the caption tomorrow everyone will pay, a bunch of kids told on him and the police came to his house that night. Oh and it was a BB gun. Stabbed a kid for mocking his dead sister. My buddy has an assault charge for similar. Punched a guy out at the bar for shit talking his dead sibling. Even the judge told him it was understandable but still not okay. Edit, just to add, freshly dead sibling. Middle school. He was really into Assassin's Creed, video game and main character is an assassin. He also seemed like a slightly depressed edgy kid. I became friends with him during his last 2-3 weeks. He told me he wanted to make a cool stabby blade thing that shoots out of his sleeve like in the video game. I told him that would be cool, but I was never dumb enough to do it myself. He actually made it and brought it to school. We spent a couple of days of recess and lunch running around and I watched him terrorize some of the kids, including myself. I never thought he'd harm anyone though. Someone must have told on him. School supervisor guy came in, asked for him and his backpack, and he never came back. I think I saw him a few years later and he thought I was the one that told on him. I tried to deny it but didn't want to risk getting into an argument. My teacher found this drawing I made and when she asked what it was I told her it was for a gasoline gun. I mean I couldn't really lie because it said gasoline gun right on it but she just said her interesting and handed it back to me. Honestly if I ever did make one I probably would have blown myself up. I can't imagine doing that in school today. A wild imagination could get you kicked out or worse. I got expelled for a fight. Had to get a lawyer to get back into school. 25-30 people got suspended for a food fight. Had a friend get expelled for a fight with a star quarterback. He never went back to school. Rough year. Sounds like this one year when I was in high school when there were so many fights. The superintendent came in and announced that the next people to get into a fight would be expelled without question. It's like there was a fight fever that broke out. One fight, my friend had a chunk of hair ripped out so badly her scalp bled. Also, in one fight, a female teacher was trying to break up a fight between two male students, got knocked down, and broke her arm. There was a policy change from there on that teachers could only break up fights between students of their own gender. Another notable fight was between two girls in the cafeteria and our female gym teacher vaulted over several lunch tables and looked like a dang superhero. She really lived up to her name that day, Miss Eagleton. Edit, Mr. Letter. Him and his cousin beat up the deputy principal and tried to kill him with a spade, at school. No charges ended up being laid. Later went on to kill a tourist during the 2000 New Year's and dump his body in the harbor. Edit, brothers not cousins memory is a little hazy after 23 years. I personally didn't know them but knew enough to stay the fuck away from them they were known for being trouble kids. Our art teacher stopped the attack he's a hero emo. 
Well done sleuths for finding the articles. Oh my gosh, that is wild. Class clown. Chemistry class. Dude caused another student's experiment to react violently and blinded her. Half a dozen students saw him do it and heard him say he didn't like her because she was smart. He was in prison four years later. Dead six years after that. Shit. How did the girl who was blinded end up? He started a fire in some backpacks. This was an elementary school like 91-92ish and we were in like second grade. After that no one was allowed to go into the hall unattended. Backpacks were in a weird corridor in the hallway outside the pod of classrooms. Another one was the only male cheerleader beat someone to pulp for making fun of him being a cheerleader. The fight was huge, interrupted all the classes and hundreds of student watch this cheerleader in uniform just pummel this other guy. They ended up outside the school in the middle of the street. Several teachers had to step in and stop the fight. I believe the cheerleader would have killed the kid if someone didn't intervene. Male cheerleaders have that skinny strong. You really shouldn't fuck with them. He and three other guys committed felony battery outside a school exit. The kid was leaving detention and they waited for him outside. Left the kid in a coma he ended up dying in the hospital. So, expelled and awaiting trial for murder. Giving a BJ in the staircase with glass walls facing the cafeteria windows, during lunch. And I'm assuming the recipient was not expelled, I'm only assuming the giver was female. 